either I've just produced a full video um, explaining what I've been up to with my bike and I forgot to press the record button so here we are again I shall do it again right this is number three in a short um, series of videos saying what I've been doing over the last two years and why I haven't uploaded any new bike ride videos um, this is about my bike and what I've been doing to it four years ago I bought myself a specialized women's diverge e5 comp bike which is a, an adventure bike um, also they also call them gravel bikes which was a natural um, upgrade from the bike I had previously which was a hybrid bike the um, specialized bike about it is the fact that I can go off-road a bit um, it is quite good over off-road and it handles beautifully it really really is easy to handle a lot easier than the hybrid bike or before that the mountain bike I had um, it has something called future shock suspension which is built into the head tube which um, kind of absorbs a lot of the lumps and bumps and people say that when you don't have it you really notice the difference um, it also has cork tape wrapped around the handlebars around the drops which again absorb the lumps and bumps when you're going over um, uneven ground and I must say that a lot of the country lanes I cycle along are like cycling off-road they are really really bad full of potholes and here's the thing they have not been resurfaced or oh, one road has one road I lie I lie one road has been resurfaced in the four years since I've had this bike but the others have not um, anyway back to the bike I also like the fact that it has three um, space for three bottle cages which I like to carry three bottles around in very hot weather three bottles of water because I, I cycle solo most of the time I don't stop off anywhere where I can fill up the bottles I don't stop off at a cafe for cake or whatever um, so I like that um, and also here's the thing I did think about upgrading my bike about buying a new one because the one thing I hate and I've always hated ever since I bought it about the Diverge is the mechanical disc brakes it's a really high spec bike but the one thing that lets it down is other disc brakes mechanical disc brakes I mean they're high spec mechanical disc brakes but they are really really rubbish and you have to be able to stop quickly sometimes as a cyclist I mean there's that video in my YouTube channel when I was riding my hybrid bike when that guy pulled out in front of me in a 4x4 and I had to stop pretty damn quick and the mechanical disc brakes on the hybrid, hybrid bike did the job they, they stop on a, stopped on a sixpence but I know for a fact that if the same thing was to happen with the Diverge and its mechanical disc brakes and it was for example a hill or even not a hill um, it wouldn't have been able to handle it it doesn't stop suddenly it doesn't it and you have to really 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 grab hold of the the shifters to be able to uh, stop and also i've been adjusting it every year well, at least once a month since i got it since i've been out on the road i've had to adjust the brake pads oh twiddle this twiddle that and pull a bit of cable through all this stuff a real pain so that's why I was wondering whether to upgrade to a brand new bike this spring but the reason I didn't was because the Diverge I like the Diverge and they've got a new version of it which is, is has got a much much higher spec does a lot more stuff it um, has a, a newer new improved version of the future shock suspension it has high hydraulic disc brakes too um, but they don't do a women's geometry a women's specific geometry anymore and also the price was over a thousand pounds more than i paid for my bike four years ago and to be honest that's a hell of a lot extra to pay and i'd have to get rid of my bike and just i thought no 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 so 
right at the start, when I first got the bike, when I decided that I hated the brakes, I investigated the possibility of upgrading them to hydraulic disc brakes, but the bike shop put me off saying it's a really tricky procedure and very, very expensive. Um, but I decided this this spring to do just that for the simple reason that I, I couldn't afford a brand new bike. Um, and I thought, well, I'd, if I'm going to keep this bike, I want to upgrade now before prices go up even further because they're just like, well, I don't have to tell you, they're rocketing. It's also very, very difficult to get hold of bike parts now. Now, I, some people say that's because of Brexit. Mm, I tend to think it probably is, but let's keep politics out of this. But bike parts, very hard to get. So when I decided to upgrade to hydraulic disc brakes, I think I managed to get the last set of shifters and calipers in the whole country. I looked everywhere, but the good news is I found some that were on special offer, which is brilliant. So I got them cheaper and I got also needed an adapter because it's a flat mount um, brake system and also the cables, obviously, front and rear cables. Um, so it's in the process of being done. It's half done because I forgot to order one of the cables and hopefully tomorrow my bike mechanic will finish off the job and he's also put new tape on the uh, drops as well. Um, I couldn't get the specialised tape um, again, which is uh, called cork tape. It, it's just not available anywhere either. So I got another brand, um, which is okay. I prefer the specialised, but, but hey, you know, beggars can't be choosers and all that. So hopefully, fingers crossed, my new brakes will be up and working by the end of play tomorrow. And on Friday, hopefully, hopefully, I'll be able to go out and test them. And let's hope, let's hope they are an improvement and feel safer than the old brakes. Um, so fingers crossed. I'll, I'll let you know how I get on, of course. And thanks for watching this. And I'll catch up with you next time. Bye for now.